two, one, and we are live. What's up, CP family? Chat here with Tim. Welcome to the courtside chat, joined by the CP parents. We're in week six of our seven week training cycle. This week's all about flow. Flow is one of those things that everyone really enjoys when they're in, when they're in flow. We can easily tell whether our athlete watching them if they're in a flow out on the court or mm-hmm. if they're a little rigid or a little choppy. Um, so why don't we kind of lay out kind of what flow means and then maybe dive into how we can foster this and support it from the parent's perspective. Yeah, what a, what a cool thing um, to watch your athlete just play in flow, you know. Mm-hmm. You know, we have all those different play states, you know, and you know, last week was command, you know, where they're really going after it. You know, they're just everything on the line and they're ready to play, right? And put it all on the line. Flow is just um, kind of beautiful. Flow is like they're effortless. Flow is like they're enjoying, they're smooth, they're fluid. You know, those are kind of the words we use when we want to see about the action. Mm-hmm. So when we see our, when we see our child, in those kind of modes it makes us really feel good as parents. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and the athletes love it too because when they're in flow, they're definitely playing their best. And um, you know, especially in a game like tennis, where it can be described as a very fluid physical activity, especially your stroke is a very fluid physical activity. It makes all the difference um, when you're kind of in this state physically and mentally. Yeah, it's amazing how. <clears throat> You know, the stroke and the movement is all about fluidity, you know, just ease and uh, even intenseful ease. You, know, you can still be really intense and still be in flow and still be just effortless. Yeah, and actually when you're on a foundation of ease, you can actually get a lot more intense. Well, you know that from the body, right? From, Absolutely. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, so like, you know, a lot of times people will see kind of being relaxed or being intense as opposites. <clears throat> And we're like, hey, you got to relax out there. Maybe the athlete will be kind of lackadaisical. Or it's like, hey, you got to get intense. And then maybe the athlete's a little bit too tense. And so flow is about being relaxed without being laxed and being intense without being tense and Mm -hmm. actually being relaxed and intense at the same time. Mm -hmm. Like a fighter pilot is very relaxed and intense at the same time. An astronaut, like when you listen to the radio and the astronaut's about to take off on the space shuttle and they're they're pretty calm on the radio when they're just about to get <laughs> blasted in this place, space mm-hmm. so it's a very intense thing but they got to be relaxed so they can maintain all their decision making abilities mm-hmm. and stuff and that's what flow is it's being um relaxed and intense at the same time yeah, i call it intensefully relaxed yeah you know and you know and so we have to that's why we're in you know week six that's why we have this progression you know, because those are all important play states, you know, starting with the first week on confidence, mm-hmm. you know, then going into composure, then focus. Yeah. And because um, that's all part of being able to be in flow, mm-hmm. you know, but this is a cool week. This is a week that we want to um, observe this. We want to kind of like allow the space to be like this. So that as parents, I know we want to be in flow. We, we, we don't want to be tense and tight when we actually watch them or um you know or as they compete we that's how we can kind of support that we can support that by us being kind of more present in the moment and just sort of enjoying understanding that this is an important week this is really why we put them in sports so that they can learn this you know that they can learn when there's things happening that they can be so and um, you know, bring their focus and their being so much in the present moment that they can just be effortless and flow and fluid in their movements. And um, it's kind of like, you know, we don't worry about the score, even though we know there's a score. We don't, we don't really just, this isn't the week to value the score. This is the week to value whether or not they're fluid. Mm-hmm. You know, how many more times do we want to see our athletes play choppy yeah really because that's what's happening most of the time when they're not in this kind of training they don't have a mechanism or a structure or tools 
they don't even have content to be inspired to do this. Mm -hmm. They just think they got to hit more balls. They just think they got to um, work on some technical aspect of their movement or some technical aspect of the swing. Mm -hmm. And there are some technicalities that they're that they can um, you know someone can observe or they can observe that you know maybe I could be more relaxed in my breathing, for example. Or there could be something that was sort of more technical. But flow doesn't. It kind of like lets the technical stuff, the tactical stuff, go away. Mm -hmm. Like we're not doing that this week. Mm -hmm. This week, we're going to enjoy flow. And as parents, that's what we want to see, and that's what we want to encourage, and that's what we want to value. So that will help that energy in that space if that if if we value that. Yeah. Yeah, and it can start by, you know, getting rid of unnecessary tension, unnecessary um, tension in, in the way you're talking, in the way you're acting, like in the way you're being, if you're being really tense, like this is the, the week to kind of focus on maybe getting rid of some of that tension. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, what can we do as parents? Uh, there's things that we can do. We don't have to sit there and... Um, um, you know, make a comment about that this is really a huge tournament. Mm -hmm. You know, just something like that. Or like add unnecessary pressure. Yeah, by by some of the things that maybe it is a pretty big deal. You know, maybe it is, you know, it's a 64 draw. You know, they just had a Bobby Curtis um, state championship here in Florida. They just got done with that. Huge tournament. And, um, but when push comes to the show, in fact, that was really interesting because I was actually reading, um, there was an article that they wrote, the USTA Florida section wrote a really nice article on each one of the matches in the finals. Mm -hmm. uh, they did other ones, two other matches, but this is, this is like finals day. And there's one situation, it was one of the, it was one of the girls' matches, I can't remember if it was 16s or 14s, because um, they had all the age groups there. But the girl who won it actually said, I was like nervous the whole match. Actually said that. Can you imagine that? She won the tournament nervous as hell, on the whole match yeah. and knows it. So you, even though she won, great, that's awesome, but she was nervous and tight the whole freaking match. Well, I just, I, I just don't know if I would really be fired up about that. Yeah. I would say, well, we can maybe just think if she wasn't. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Just think of how free that, she would be how much more uh, enjoy just how much more um, just that the, the energy of of just freedom right in this flow we can just think if she could have done that the whole match and won the tournament yeah she's gonna have to find a way to make that happen if she wants to reach her peak in the future and that's that, another perfect example of when you're like valuing the results right now so heavily it will put a skewed perspective on what's really going on. Yeah, and that's a really good point. And, um, and that's why I want to kind of like give this kind of encouragement is that these are the things we really want. These are the things we really desire. These are the things as parents we really enjoy. These are, these are the real takeaways if we can see our, our athlete just um, in every one of these play states. But as we wind down week six and then next week, week seven is play and they're playing their game the way they want to play their game in all these kind of frequencies of the play states that, you know, that we have here, yeah. it's just lights out. Not only for us as parents to watch that, it would just make our heart melt to see that. Um, win or lose, that's the whole thing. Win or lose, because at the end of the day, losing is just as important as winning in the scheme of things. Sometimes more important, but I like the winning, you know, I mean, I'm really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But That's you a learn great point though. Yeah. Yeah, you learn so much on losing and it's kind of yin yang. You gotta have them both. It's North Pole, South Pole, you got you know, you got all these different poles and that's all part of the process. And and right now, flow is kind of like evening it out and just letting it happen. And 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 putting a dance to it or putting a beauty to it instead of this tightness, choppiness, um, it's kind of interesting because one of the things that happens a lot, and maybe I think, you know, every one of you parents, you probably have experienced this too, but when we're watching our athlete play, 
and say they're returning serve and the serve, the first serve is out. And they hit such a flowy, fluid, beautiful return back. Like it was crazy. And then the next serve comes in and it's in. And they're so choppy and just yeah. trying to struggle that ball back over. It's so true, yeah. Right? We see that, right? Yeah. I go, well, what's going on? What's going on is they're not in flow. What's going on is they're not present in the moment. They're not mind-body connected. That's what's going on. And that's what each one of these weeks in these play states is helping them get into these play states of playing their game so they don't do that. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine just being flowy when the when the serve is in? That's what we want to see. That's what we want to see. And that's what we will see as they keep this training because that's what we're all about. That's what we're tr- that we're all in this together. We're all in this together, supporting one another. Yeah. You know, we're inspiring. We're we're equipping, and 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 then we're empowering. Like this is empowering, man. This is really cool. Yeah. I love this week. This is a great week. This is a great week for us parents to enjoy. One hundred percent. I love it too. Um, yeah, I think we'll end on that. Mm-hmm. And um, great, great uh, discussion. This is one of my favorite weeks as well. Um, it's a very enjoyable week for the athletes as they um, experience this training in the new light. And so we're really excited about it. And we'll see everyone next Tuesday for our last Tuesday call of the cycle. Really excited about wrapping up this cycle and launching the next one. So. Make sure you tune into that. We'll see Mm -hmm. you on the next one. Peace. Love Love you guys.